Anthony Gill. Mm -hmm. What did you see from his night tonight as well? He was terrific, you know, from start to finish, you know, and uh, I give him a lot of credit because he's a guy that does everything right, he, you know, practice, walkthroughs. Um, he's always the, the guy up encouraging his teammates, um, and it's like karma, comes full circle. And he goes out, performs, plays exceptionally well, makes big plays, um, and winds up winning the belt. Coach Wes Unzel Jr. giving flowers to our guest of honor for the night, a guy who I consider the salt of the earth, just a great teammate. Anthony Gill, courtside with our very own Megan McPeak. Megan, take it away before I end up just fawning for, for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Wes, you say great teammate. I just say, period, great human uh, when it comes to Anthony Gill. But, A.G., I want to go back to the conversation that we had on Monday night, and you said a few things, but mainly was – for me that stuck out was the fact that you want your teammates to succeed more than you want yourself to succeed. I think after your performance tonight, they are probably saying the same thing about yourself. Walk me through again how you just maintain your positive attitude and staying ready until your number is called. Uh, yeah, so for me, it's uh, like I told you before, I, I love each and every one of those guys. Um, so when they're, when they're out there on the court doing their thing, uh, you know, I'm so happy for them. Um, you know, those guys work so hard, extremely hard, so talented. They have a lot going on, a lot on their shoulders that most people don't understand, you know, goes into the, the NBA player lifestyle. But, um, you know, I'm so proud of those guys every single time they step on the court and uh, for me to you know have an okay game today and then those guys like I see them on the bench cheering for me it, it really made me happy an okay an o hold on 18 points on 7-eleven shooting not to mention two of four from the three-point line and then five of three from the free throw line you also add in four rebounds and, and that's an okay game for you um, that's not important. Did you see that Denny <laughs> Avdia had 20 rebounds tonight? That was awesome, and I'm so proud of him for that. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, like, you just continue to maintain a positive attitude, and I have said this from the moment I met you when you first got here, that your positive attitude, it trickles down throughout not just the team and the coaching staff, but in my opinion, the organization, and that is not easy to do, and yet you do it on a consistent daily basis, and as you heard from Coach, just talking about the fact that karma essentially came full circle for you tonight because you are always first off the bench you're there like I remember in Milwaukee Brad unfortunately goes down with the injury and you go outside of yourself to stand beside him to make sure he's good just talk about what that means to you when you then have your teammates reciprocate it for you uh, yeah it feels great you know and for me first and foremost I just I want to care so much for these guys um, that's all I really care about I represent my family when I go on the court I represent my faith I represent the city of DC I represent where I came from um, and you know this this the city here in D.C., we, they deserve a lot, you know, and they've been through a lot of years of um, uh, tough years, you know. So every, the least I can do is just go out there and play my hardest, give everything I have for the team, the city, and my family. Sticks has got a question for you in studio. Anthony Gill, I like to call you Jason Smith 2.0. Always <laughs> cheering your teammates on, always encouraging guys, whether it be practice in the game. But tonight, you know that you're going to get minutes. There's a very very high likelihood that you're going to get a lot of minutes with no Porzingis, no Gafford. How do you prepare yourself from going from, I don't know if I'm going to play, to getting a ton of minutes, having a career night? And how do you bottle this up moving forward? Uh, the answer is you can't really prepare for it on the, the, the day of the game. You know, um, I didn't find out that those guys are going to be out until, what, uh, 90 minutes on the clock. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's not like I can just, you know, wake up in the morning and know that I'm going to play a lot of minutes. Uh, it's one of those things where you have to put in, you know, days and, and hours and everything of, of work and preparation uh, for the time like this. And, um, you know, I love to see my guys on the court performing. I would much rather them be on the court than me. Uh, but when I do have that opportunity, I just want to give them everything I have. Anthony, this is well, ever humble as you always are, but when you go off for a career high points, you get the floor. So I'm going to ask you right now to give a shout out to whoever you want to because you've earned this moment. The flowers and floor is yours, sir. Mm, I want to give a shout out to my wife, uh, Jenna Gill. She's a superstar. She, she keeps our family stable at home. She keeps me stable. Um, she allows me to go out here every single night and do what I do and keep our three kids at home safe. So I really appreciate her. Look at you, Anthony Gill. Always, man. I'm taking notes, brother. I'm taking notes, my friend. I appreciate it, as always. Continue to have a safe night. We'll see you Friday against the Knicks. Thanks, guys, for having me. I appreciate it.